Here are 30 most commonly asked interview questions for SAP basis candidates with two to three years of experience, along with their answers. 1. What is the purpose of the SAP Transport Directory and why is it important in a SAP system? Answer. The SAP Transport Directory is a crucial location for storing transport requests before they are imported into target systems. It helps maintain version control and ensures organized transport operations. 2. Can you explain the difference between a SAP instance and a SAP system? Answer. A SAP instance is a single copy of the SAP executable and related work processes. A SAP system can consist of multiple instances, each running on separate servers for scalability and high availability. 3. How do you perform a SAP kernel upgrade, and what precautions should be taken during this process? Answer. SAP kernel upgrade involves updating the core SAP software. Precautions include thorough testing in a non-production environment, creating backups, and ensuring all prerequisites are met before the upgrade. 4. What is SAP? Early Watch Alert. And how does it benefit a SAP system? Answer. SAP Early Watch Alert is a proactive monitoring service provided by SAP. It helps identify and resolve potential issues in your SAP system by analyzing system data, performance, and usage statistics. 5. Explain the role of SAP Solution Manager in SAP basis activities. Answer. SAP Solution Manager is used for system monitoring, maintenance, planning, and support for SAP systems. It plays a crucial role in SAP basis for tasks such as system administration, software maintenance, and incident management. 6. How do you troubleshoot and resolve common issues in SAP systems, such as a failed background job or a stuck work process? Answer. Troubleshooting involves analyzing logs ZIM21, ZIM37, checking system resources Street 06, and using tools like STAD for job analysis. Resolution may involve rescheduling jobs, killing work processes, or adjusting configurations. 7. Explain the concept of SAP profiles and their types. Answer. SAP profiles are configuration files that control the behavior of SAP instances. There are different types of profiles, including instance profiles default, BFL and system profiles default, BFL, start devums x, BFL, etc., which define instance and system parameters, respectively. 8. What is a SAP kernel parameter, and how can you adjust it for performance optimization? Answer. SAP kernel parameter is a setting that controls various aspects of system behavior. To optimize performance, you can adjust parameters like memory settings, buffer configurations, and process limits based on system requirements. 9. What is the role of the SAP Transport Control Program TP in the transport process? Answer. The SAP Transport Control Program TP is used to import and export transport requests, ensuring a controlled and coordinated transport process. It plays a vital role in managing transports between SAP systems. 10. How do you manage system performance in SAP basis, and what tools or transactions would you use? Answer. System performance can be monitored using transactions like Streeto to buffer statistics, Streeto 3 workload analysis, and Streeto 6 operating system monitor along with system logs ZIM21. 11. What are the key components of a typical SAP basis project plan, and how do you approach a system migration or upgrade project? Answer. A typical SAP basis project plan includes assessment, planning, design, execution, and post-migration tasks. Approach involves understanding the project scope, creating a detailed plan, testing changes in a non-production environment, and following a controlled go-live process. 12. Can you explain the SAP system client copy process and its various methods? Answer. SAP system client copy is used to create a copy of a client within the same system or a different system. The methods include local client copy Skankel, remote client copy SCC9, 
and export or import methods client export and client import. 13. What is the SAP Data Dictionary, and how is it accessed? Answer. The SAP Data Dictionary is used to define and manage data structures such as tables, views, and indexes within the SAP system. You can access it via the transaction code SAY11. 14. Explain the purpose of the SAP Early Watch Check and how it differs from Early Watch Alert. Answer. The Early Watch Check is a self-service tool that helps system administrators perform an initial system analysis. It differs from Early Watch Alert, which is a comprehensive service provided by SAP that includes analysis by SAP experts. 15. What are SAP system logs, and how do you manage them? Answer. SAP system logs capture system events, errors, and messages. You can access them using transaction SM21. They can be managed by setting log retention policies, archiving, and monitoring for critical messages. 16. What is a SAP router, and when is it used in a SAP landscape? Answer. SAP router is a software component that acts as a secure intermediary between SAP systems. It's used for routing connections between internal and external networks, enhancing security for data exchange. 17. How do you ensure system security in SAP basis, and what security mechanisms are commonly employed? Answer. Security in SAP basis includes user authentication, authorization, role management, and regular system patching. Commonly employed mechanisms include SAP Security Audit Logs M19, User Role Management 5th, and User Password Policies. 18. Describe the process of creating and configuring a SAP background job. Answer. To create a background job, you use Transaction SM36. You define job details, specify when it should run, and assign a report or program to be executed. Background jobs are configured and scheduled in Transaction SM37. 19. What is the role of SAP NetWeaver application server as in SAP systems? Answer. The SAP NetWeaver application server is the runtime environment for SAP applications. It provides the infrastructure for running business processes, web applications, and services in SAP systems. 20. How do you perform system refresh and system copy activities in SAP? Answer. System refresh involves overriding the data in a target system with data from a source system. System copy involves creating a new system by duplicating data and configurations. Both activities require careful planning and execution. 21. Explain the concept of SAP GI and SAP Logon Pad. Answer. SAP GI Graphical User Interface is the software application used to access SAP systems. The SAP Logon Pad is a component of SAP GI that allows users to manage system connections and log into different systems. 22. What is SAP HANA, and how does it relate to SAP Basis? Answer. SAP HANA is an in-memory database platform. SAP Basis professionals may be responsible for the administration and monitoring of SAP HANA systems in addition to traditional SAP systems. 23. How do you ensure high availability and disaster recovery in a SAP landscape? Answer. High availability is achieved through redundancy and failover mechanisms. Disaster recovery involves regular backups and off-site data storage, with strategies like system replication and data mirroring. 24. Can you explain the difference between a client copy and client transport in SAP systems? Answer. Client copy involves copying client-specific data and objects within the same system. Client transport is used to move client-specific data from one system to another while maintaining consistency. 25. What is a transport layer in SAP, and how is it used in transport management? Answer. A transport layer is a logical grouping of transport routes in SAP. It helps manage the transport landscape by organizing routes and providing control over transport requests. 26. How do you configure and maintain SAP Solution Manager for optimal system management? Answer. Configuring SAP Solution Manager involves 
setting up system monitoring, managing system data, and configuring solution documentation. It should be kept up to date and integrated with other SAP systems for effective system management. 27. Explain the concept of system profiles in SAP basis and their significance in system management. Answer. System profiles are critical configuration files used to control the behavior of SAP systems. They determine system parameters, instance-specific settings, and critical startup options, making them essential for system management and tuning. 28. What is the purpose of the SAP gateway, and how does it facilitate communication in SAP systems? Answer. The SAP gateway enables communication between different components and systems in an SAP landscape. It serves as a central hub for managing off-PC remote function call connections, OData services, and other communication protocols. 29. How do you handle system performance optimization in SAP? And what are some key performance tuning techniques? Answer. Performance optimization involves monitoring system resources, analyzing performance data, and adjusting parameters as needed. Techniques include optimizing database access, tuning the buffer, and addressing bottlenecks. 30. Can you describe the steps involved in the process of system upgrades and migration in SAP bases? And what factors should be considered for a successful migration? Answer. System upgrades and migrations require careful planning, testing, and execution. Key steps include preparing the target system, exporting data, importing data, and conducting comprehensive testing before going live. Factors to consider include data consistency, system compatibility, and downtime constraints. These 30 questions are tailored for SAP basis professionals. With two to three years of experience, covering a wide range of topics within SAP basis. For more exciting tips, tricks and more importantly, for valuable insights of interviews, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. It has a lot of valuable information about various insights of interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies like data science, SAP, AWS, DevOps, and web stack development, and more. That will be useful during interviews. It has a wide range of most asked interview questions and answers of various technologies for freshers. For two to three years, experienced candidates, and for five or above years, experienced candidates to test their skills by knowing most. Ask interview questions and make themselves ready for interviews.